Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some budget versus investment items for going back to school. And we're also going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video with Grin Bag and it's going to be a bag of your choice, I think out of three of them, and also a set of the clear transparent smaller bags which are super useful. So more about that at the end, but let's just grab a cup of tea and get straight into the video. So the first thing that I actually think is really important above all the other kind of sustainable essentials that you might need for school is to actually go in with a positive attitude. When I was in my last year of school, I really had a lot of catching up to do. I wasn't really that academically minded, but I really wanted to go to the university of my first choice. So I decided before the school year started that I really needed to have a positive mindset and choose to spend a lot more time studying and focusing on redoing some of my AS levels so that I could get the best A level results possible. By choosing a positive mindset, I managed to go from having an A, B, C, U to all A stars and A's in my final year because I chose to spend a lot more time and thought about it in a way that I felt so much more positive about it and excited rather than thinking about it as an arduous task. So honestly, obviously we're gonna be talking about more sustainable things, but I think one of the most important things about going back to school is to have that positive mindset and choosing to find a goal that will make you work really hard and focusing on something that actually will give you that motivation. So that's the first one, but let's now get into the sustainable kind of essentials, whatever is up to you uh, of actual things. So the first one is a pencil. Now, pencil for me, I did mass A levels, so I really needed them. I don't know what year you guys are in, but to be honest, a pencil is usually quite necessary. Now there is a budget version where you can literally just go around your house and I'm sure there are old pencils lying around, or you can buy out those ones that are just, um, you know, the ones that just completely disintegrate when you when you sharpen them. At an investment alternative to that would be getting a propelling pencil that you can refill that's made of sustainable materials. And that one is gonna last you a really, really, really long time. If you're going to university or if you're just starting your school career, sometimes investment ones can be better because they can last you the entirety of your schooling. But again, it's up to you and depending on what you have available to you. The second one is a pen and the budget version of this is honestly again looking around your house there are so many half filled pens left around in my house or at my parents work that they bring home and I just use those instead. You don't need to go out and buy new ones and honestly the sustainable alternative really is to use what you already have and really 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 make sure you even if it's plastic to, f to completely finish those ones that are already sort of half full or whatever. But if you are looking to invest in one, then I would highly recommend getting one that is a refillable one, something that's a bit more sustainable and made of materials that are upcycled or recycled, and then refilling them with a cartridge that is made of, again, something that can be fully recycled and not really plastic. The next one is a backpack. We all need a backpack and the sustainable kind of budget version would be to repair your old backpack, replace zips or um, sew up some holes if you have any in there, or to go to a second hand store or even get one handed down to you from a sibling or a parent or a family member of any sort or even a friend. But if you want to also kind of make it slightly new, you can always sew on a patch or something from a cool trip you've been on or a cool place you've been. But if you are looking for an investment and you don't have an old backpack or you don't want to buy a secondhand one, you can always opt for a sustainable alternative. So a company that uses upcycled materials or one that has you know zero waste ideals like Grinbag, for example, which is the backpack company that I use. Everything is made from old sailboats and it's all upcycled and it's a tiny little shop in northern Denmark so it's really really ethical and small and I just love that. The next one is for lunch. If you like me took a packed lunch into school then you might want to go for something like a old Tupperware that you have just lying around. Any kind of old even like plastic takeaway containers or whichever ones you have, or if you don't aren't really clumsy and you're willing to take some glass in, then you could use some old glass jars. However, if you are clumsy or if you're always just dropping your book bag down on the floor, I would not recommend glass, but sometimes you wanna use glass if you're not really 
interested in using old plastic. If you want to go for an investment version of this, then I would highly recommend something like a stainless steel container. But be careful because stainless steel is uh, does have to be mined, so maybe even get a second-hand one. Or things like cornstarch or bamboo are a little bit more sustainable as well. But go for something you know you're going to use and you know is actually, you know, something that will be used for a long time. The next one is a water bottle. I actually have a water bottle which I really really like but you can if you want to have not too many things in your bag if you drink coffee or tea then to get a bigger coffee cup that's you know you can actually reuse as a water bottle as well like my boyfriend's family have this like really big yeti cup and actually I mean to be honest after you finish drinking coffee from it or tea you can 100% use it as a water bottle so you don't have to you know be carrying around several things but if you want to get a budget version try and look around your house see if anyone has any go to a second-hand shop, ask your friends, enter giveaways, things like that. An investment version would definitely be going out and finding a sustainable company to buy one from. I like Jerry Bottle because they also give back, but also I like their double-walled ones. The next one is about ring binders. I use a lot of them at school, especially for my revision notes, and I would try and reuse the same ones every single year so that I wouldn't end up having to go and buy ones. And I even took the ones that I had in year nine or 10 all the way into university with me. If you don't have old ones that you can use, try and opt for a company that are more sustainable and use like recycled materials or anything like that and try and find ones that are well made so that they will last you a long time. Notepads, okay. If you're like me, then you probably have quite a few notepads that are half finished in your house. And I've been working my way through them to try and finish them. And this is a good way, to be honest, to try and fill out all of those before you go and buy a new one. If you do want to buy a new one, then I would highly recommend looking up one that has more of an eco footprint, does something like plant a tree for every tree they cut down to make the notebooks, or if it's made from recycled materials, or try and find one that is a bit sturdier so it's not gonna just like disintegrate. But also for a budget version, try and find those pads that have are uh, made from recycled materials that you can just refill your ring binders with. I would recommend definitely thinking before you buy lots of notepads because I always end up falling for the really pretty ones and being like, oh, I'm gonna use it and then I never do. So maybe just think of one that's really, really, really helpful and then try and stick to that one. Obviously you're gonna have a notepad for your like every day, your to-do list, blah, 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 your homework, etc. And then you're gonna have to have paper that you're gonna be filling up your ring binders with, with your notes and stuff like that. So just be mindful of how much you're using and where it comes from. Some other things you might want to use, but also probably aren't necessary, it really depends on you. If you're doing maths, then I used to get a kind of one of those Oxford sets with like a protractor and all those things in it, but I actually just got it handed down from my sister, or you can go online and buy a secondhand one, go to a secondhand shop, but see if you need it. The same goes for a ruler if you need a ruler. I just had one that I handed down from my sister, a metal one, but if you opt for a metal or a wooden one that's probably better or if you can get a secondhand plastic one from any charity shop i reckon that's probably also a more sustainable alternative also instead of highlighters i used to use coloring pencils because again once you shaved them all the way down and you use them then you could just compost those kind of shavings and that's a lot more sustainable than all of those plastic highlighters that we go through those are kind of all of my sustainable alternatives and to be honest what is essential is completely dependent on you and dependent on your circumstances so don't worry if some of these things you think oh do I need this but you actually don't make sure you make your own list and just kind of put it against what people have been saying online and make sure you get something that works for you so that is the end of my kind of sustainable essentials, but onto the giveaway. If you are interested in um, winning one of these Grin Bag backpacks and these clear cases, all you have to do is go over to Instagram and on the post that it will put up at the same time as this video, you just have to simply comment what bag that you want and what color and follow me and Grin Bag. And that is literally it. Um, you can apply as many times as you want and it is gonna run all the way till Wednesday and then we will announce on Wednesday evening who the winner is. I want to thank you for taking part and I really hope we can get Grinbag to 10,000 subscribers. That would be awesome because they are a really great company. 
Anyway, I really wish you a wonderful start of the year back at school or university. And I really hope that you choose to have a positive mindset and you get out of this year as much as, as you put in. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.